Okay, guys, I started Friday in the chat room at GreatStockPicks.com talking about um, that it is a Friday before a three-day weekend and things are probably going to be dead. I wasn't too anxious to call anything. I did end up calling a few ideas. Um, here they are, NQ. These are one-minute candles. I called it right here. I think it was maybe 1717 at the time, um, thinking it was going to push through the high of the day. Again, one-minute candles here. Within a couple minutes, I was up about a dime. Um, we had some economic numbers coming out, so I was playing pure defense. I actually sold some on the high of day test, and then I was back out right here um, just that quick. I think I had a little slippage on the rest. And anytime I take an early trade, again, these are one-minute candles, so it's very early in the session. But at the same time, those early trades are probably where you're going to make any money. If you're going to get a move, it's going to be that early on a, you know, on a August afternoon before a three-day weekend. So I was looking for an early trade. Um, and with my sell up here and then my other sell down here, I ended up, somebody asked uh, how I did, did I win or lose on it? And I think I was up $1.78 after commission. So what a great way to start the day. I told everybody, hey, if you're a new trader, don't be jealous of my $1.78, uh, you'll get there. Um, <laughs> that's the kind of morning it was. Um, let's see, uh, and then DISH, D-I-S-H, let me show you on five minute candles. Okay, there you go. Uh, Dish actually had what I call shape to the upside. It had a, a big move, a little um, kind of sideways move, and then another push. And to me, this coupled with the 60-minute chart, which I can slide my little 60-minute chart over here, um, it was coming up into whatever date that was, August 27th maybe it looks like. Yeah, August 27th it had a high. So I'm looking at a possible double top. Okay, um, Couple that with the shape on the five minute candles and this is ahead of itself and I'm looking for a short I mentioned a reverse fives idea, which is what I call it in chat Which means first break of a previous five minute candles low um, Again because it was at resistance shape on five minute candles up at resistance on the 60 minute chart uh, Which was a short below this green candle here 45 44 45 54 stop, okay, so only a dime risk and look at that that was the high of the day um, great place to sell when you get shaped to the downside here, but anywhere after that was a profit. Um, and I had a nice, decent short in uh, Dish. It just goes to show looking for shape into support or resistance, if you're looking for a short, um, works pretty well. And one other thing I think I mentioned was Citigroup down here as a potential long. Um, didn't give a trigger and stop, uh, but this area was the low of the day. So it was one of those days I didn't do much. I didn't expect to do much going into the day. Into the day. And if there's anything else I called, uh, I don't remember it now because it is Monday afternoon and that was Friday. So um, it was just one of those slow days. Uh, Monday being a holiday, which that's today, um, I'm kind of expecting a slow week still. Uh, we're in between earnings season. So keep that in mind. But I do expect some better trading than we had last week. Um, as long as you're focused and you look for some intelligent setups with low risk entries, I think you can still do well this upcoming week. I'll certainly uh, be happier when earnings season gets back, but um, with the teamwork in our chat room, we'll look for high volume anomalies and setups that we know I'm confident we'll make some good money this week. So I'll quit babbling. Enjoy what, what little bit is left of your uh, Labor Day weekend, and we'll see you guys on Tuesday.